Scorpio welcome to my channel Cancer Moon Oracles my name is Rosa and I am coming in with your weekly love reading where in this video we're going to take a look at a no contact situation between you and someone that you're currently not speaking to this is a general love reading if it resonates with you feel free to show some love towards the channel this reading can be good for Sun Moon Venus and rising Scorpio placements Cross watchers, you're also welcome. Feel free to reverse roles in today's video. And if you feel that your messages are not here, please check out your other placements. Or alternatively, you can always tune back in next time when I upload a new reading for your sign. Thank you for clicking on this video, Scorpio. We're going to open up now by asking Spirit and Tarot, how does this person that you're in no contact with currently feel towards the sign of Scorpio? Okay, Five of Pentacles, Page of Wands fire energy Aries Leo Sagittarius and we've got strength which is big Leo energy okay let's have a look here how does this person currently feel towards you well I can see here with the five of Pentacles as their opening energy that this person feels rejected okay they're feeling massively rejected and it's taken a big hit to their pride and their ego here okay um so you've kind of rejected them in some way and as a result i feel like this person is really really purposefully um i feel like they're purposefully giving you the silent treatment uh the page of wands indicates like communication but I feel like with the strength card here, I feel like this person is purposefully giving you the silent treatment. It feels like it's, it's being done on purpose. It's being done intentionally with the strength card here. And I feel like it's because with the five of pentacles, this person is feeling wounded. Okay. It's been a big hit to their pride or their eat. Like you, you've hurt them in some way. This person is, is feeling massive amounts of rejection or wounding here. And so the only way that they can control the situation or um, the only way they, yeah, it feels like they, the only way they can control this situation is to pull back. Uh, whether they are doing this consciously uh, or unconsciously this is what I see it can feel like ghosting as well okay this person may have purposefully ghosted you okay I'm getting that massively Scorpio let's have a look at this um Yeah, now I don't know if you have recently attempted to call them or text them or message them. Um, I am getting that maybe some of you Scorpios have attempted to contact this person, but this person is resisting responding to you. And if you're wondering why they haven't responded, that's why, because they are hurting. Okay, they, they're not taking something that you said or something that you did prior very well. Now, remember roles can be reversed in the video or in this reading, so take it as it best resonates. I wanna have a look at this Five of Pentacles. Why is the Five of Pentacles here? The Ten of Cups. So the Ten of Cups to me speaks of like reconciliation or reunion. I feel like this person wants to punish you or seek revenge or get you back in some way for making them feel the way they feel they want to make you feel the way you made them feel or the way you're making them feel that's what this makes me feel <laughs> oh my god too much too much um 
Wow. I know. I know, Scorpio, it, it, it seems very childish. It seems very immature. Um, but that's what I'm getting. Okay. That's what I'm getting. Okay. What is this person's intentions here? Look, ultimately, I do feel that this person wants you to contact them. That's the funny thing. That's the, that's the paradox. They, they do want you to reach out to them. <laughs> um, yeah. But there's like they want to punish you or they want to hurt you because they just want you to feel how they feel. All right, spirit, what, what are the intentions of this person? What are, what are the intentions of this person? What do they want with Scorpio? The, the King of Pentacles, Earth Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, the Three of Wands, the Eight of Swords. What does this person want with Scorpio? Hmm. There's a lot of resistance coming from this person. I see resistance here in the Eight of Swords. The King of Pentacles can be someone who is stubborn. Um, determined even. I'm also seeing someone here who is perhaps even patiently waiting for you. Okay, I'm seeing someone here who is committed or patiently waiting for you to uh, reach them, contact them. But it, it feels like to me with the Eight of Swords that this person isn't going to budge. Okay. To me, the Eight of Swords is like my mind is made up. Okay. I, I need to break this down. Why is the three of wands here? Why is the three of wands here for what this person wants with Scorpio? Yeah, see, see what I mean? There's the knight of wands. This person wants you to chase them. This person wants you to take action towards them. This person is waiting for you to make the moves. Why is the eight of swords here? Now, the thing is with the Eight of Swords is this person is bound, um, they're, like their arms and their body is bound, but they are free to move. So they're choosing to stay limited or they're choosing to stay stuck here or they're choosing to appear like they're not moving anywhere. The Seven of Swords is clarifying the Eight of Swords. Hmm. See, that's what I mean. Um, let me find the right words. I don't even know if I can find the right word actually with the Seven of Swords. Uh, I mean, it could appear that they're flying under the radar. Or they want you to feel like they 
maybe they want you to feel like I don't know they're they're walking away from you or they're leaving you but they're not going anywhere because the king of pentacles he's he's a, like a committed king you know he's not planning on leaving he's quite comfortable where he is but the seven of swords indicates that this person is trying to maybe manipulate you or appear as if yeah let me just grab another card because i'm at a loss for words and i feel like it's because i've had a migraine sometimes when i have a migraine i um sorry i'm not ready for the cards tell me more about this eight of swords when i have a migraine i just get a bit tongue-tied knight of swords yeah more, more swords energy. Look at all of this swords energy. See, this person wants your reaction. They want you to react. They're appearing to kind of be detached or be distant or appear as if they're never going to speak to you again maybe that's what it is like i'm never going to speak to scorpio again or that's what they're appearing to be like so you you contact them so they get your sort of reaction here and the knight of swords is like oh i better quickly do something before i lose this person altogether that they want you to react that's what they they want you to react Mm. Okay. It's funny because with the King of Pentacles, um, King of Pentacles does speak to Earth energy and Capricorn fits in there and Capricorns can tend to test people. I don't know if you know too much about that whether you're dealing with a Capricorn or not Capricorns tend to test people they play these little testy little games to test you and I feel like that's what this person is doing they're testing you whether you're dealing with a Capricorn or not that's what I'm drawing from the King of Pentacles and the Eight of Swords and Seven of Swords this person is testing you Testing you to see how much you love them, to see how loyal you are, to see, I don't know, like, <laughs> to see how much you want to be with them, you know, how far you're willing to go for them. Mm. All right, well, what are the actions of this person? What are the actions of this person? What? If they take action, what will the actions be towards Scorpio or in this scenario? What actions will this person take? Okay, the Hierophant, the Ten of Swords, the Knight of Wands. So we have Taurus energy and we have more fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Okay, what are the actions of this person? Hmm. Let me just do a little bit of clarification. 
I'm looking at this Ten of Swords. I am kind of getting with the Ten of Swords that the actions of this person, you're going to laugh. Oh my goodness. Well, you're not, you might. <laughs> I'm laughing. Um, I'm getting like a victim here. I don't know why. Uh, maybe because they opened up with the Five of Pentacles energy of someone who is feeling rejected or wounded. And I feel like the actions of this person towards you with the Ten of Swords is to act like the victim. So they're acting very victimized, like you did all of this bad stuff to them. Like you betrayed them, you did this to them. Like all of these swords that are stabbed in their back, like you did all of this to them. So they're acting like the wounded uh, warrior here, the wounded victim here. That's what it feels like. Again, this Knight of Wands energy is definitely you. You're all of this Wands energy, and I know you're a water sign, but they want you to be the one that does all the initiating and taking all the action here. They're acting like the victim, so you are the one that, you know, initiates action. Mm. Can you see? I'll show you. So you come in and they want you to rescue them. They want you to save them from this heartache, from this pain. They want you to put a stop or an end to this cycle, if you will. Mm. Um. So the Hierophant to me makes me feel like this person is trying to teach you something. The Hierophant is like a teacher, a mentor or a guide. And it makes me feel like this person is trying to teach you a lesson. I know. Through this victimization uh, archetype. Or playing that victim role. So I definitely feel like that's their action, guys. Definitely. Do I need to clarify? Don't feel like I do. Let's grab an advice card. I'm going to grab, I'm going to use the animal oracle cards. This is going to be advice, guidance, or last parting messages, whichever wants to come through, okay? So spirit angels and guides, what do you have for Scorpio here to tie up and wrap up the reading? What do you have for Scorpio here to tie up and wrap up the reading? What last padding message do you have for Scorpio here? Nightingale. This is air energy. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You could be um, connecting to an air sign. But this is air energy. Um, okay. So birds are messengers. And I feel like I feel like this is if you need to get a message across to this person, um, if you need to get a message across to this person, or if there's 
or if you have something that you need to get off of your chest, this card is saying, please do it. Okay, what I am getting here is like a page of swords energy. This is like the page of swords. Now, Page of Swords also invites you to get curious, okay? And, and part of that is to ask questions. Ask questions. If there's something that you need to know, maybe you need to just direct message this person and, and flat out ask them, you know, why are they behaving this way or what is it that they want um flat out just direct direct ask them but i feel like this nightingale is about getting something off of your chest if you need to say something say it if you need to ask something that you're unsure of or you're unclear about ask it because I feel like you might just get the clarity that you're looking for. If you get no response, hey, that might just be the answer that you need um, in this situation. Okay. Or simply put, Scorpio, simply put, with the Page of Swords, you might just want to just observe this person from afar. Okay, you might want you might not want to ask this person anything. You might be like, to hell with that, Rosa. I'm not asking this person one single goddamn question. I've had enough of this person altogether. I think I'm just gonna stay far away and I'm just gonna watch them from afar. You might want to do some snooping or some spying or you might want to you know do your research on this person because i am getting like a page of swords energy okay so moving forwards with this individual i feel like you might just want to just check them out online or just do your research on this person uh, maybe before contacting them or approaching them if that's what you're feeling like you're wanting to do. That would be the advice. Okay, so if you're the Scorpio getting on here thinking, mm, I'm thinking about contacting this person, but I'm not really sure, my advice here would be just to do your research. Okay, be the inspector gadget and just Check this person out first before you reach out. Because there might be something that you come across that might be useful or valuable for you that you can use going forward into your meeting, okay, with this individual. So I'm just going to leave the message there. If you drew a different message from the Nightingale, please feel free to share. Um, I'm always open to hearing your perspective and I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks Scorpio.